Ang Kuijo, please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. Ang Kuijo. The court is now in session. L'audience est ouverte. Today, the chamber will continue to hear the remainder of the testimony of Mr. Chen. Chen. And before we proceed, Et avant que nous ne the chamber would like to inform the parties and La the chambre, public that uh, for today's proceedings and uh, Possibly for the next uh, day's proceedings, Judge Yotra will not be available. Les audiences à venir. And after uh, we deliberated amongst the uh, judges of the bench of the trial Le chamber, ne sera pas the reserve judge to many is juge de réserve. Assigned to uh, take place of Judge Yotra until the time he is available to return to sit in the bench. That decision is based on Rule 79.4 of the ECCC Internal Rules. And Mrs. Sakoboti, could you report the attendance of the parties and individuals to today's proceedings? À l'audience aujourd'hui. Second vote, Mr. President, for today's proceedings, all parties to this case are present. Yes, for Nunji, he is present in the Nunji holding cell downstairs. As he requests to waive his rights to be present in the courtroom, his waiver has been delivered to the greffier. The witness who is to continue to testify today, that is Mr. Pan Chen, is present Pan with his duty counsel, Moon Sowan. We do not have a reserve Moon witness Sowan today. Thank you. President, thank you. And before Merci. the chamber Merci. hands the floor to the uh, prosecution, La the chamber now decides on the request by Nguyen Chia. The chamber has received a waiver from Nguyen Chia. The 25th of February 2015, he confirms that due to his poor health condition, that is headache and back pain, and that he cannot sit for long, and in order to effectively participate in the future hearings, he requests to waive his rights to participate in and be present at the 25th of February 2015 hearing. He has been informed by his counsel about the consequences of this waiver, that in no way it can be construed as a waiver of his rights to be tried fairly, or to challenge evidence presented or admitted to this court at any time during this trial. Having seen the medical report by the duty doctor for the accused and the ECCC dated 25th February 2015, who notes that the health condition of Nguyen Chi is that he has severe back pain and recommends that the chamber shall grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from a holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 81.5 of the ECCC Internal Rules, the Chamber grants Nguyen Chia's request to follow the proceedings remotely from a holding cell downstairs via an audio-visual means for today's proceedings as he waves his direct presence in the courtroom. The AV unit is instructed to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that Nguyen Chi can participate in and follow today's proceedings remotely. The Chamber now hands the floor to the co-prosecutors to continue putting questions to the witness. Do you have the floor? Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honors. Good morning, Mr. Witness. 
I want to take you uh, to a statement you made in answer 21 of what was OCIJ interview E319 slash 8.2.1. You were asked in answer 21 uh, whether the Khmer Rouge persecuted Lan Nol soldiers and government officers, and your response was, quote, yes, they did. It is not like they did not, end of quote. You then explained in your next response, answer 22, that, quote, when they evacuated people from the city, they had places to keep those people, in pagodas, for instance. Then they selected those to be sent to detention sites and those to be sent to the cooperatives. My uh, first question for you is how was it determined which evacuees would be sent to detention sites and which to, co to cooperatives? All, good morning, Mr. President, stewardess, and everyone. Avant toute chose, Monsieur le Président, Mesdames et Messieurs les juges, et tout un chacun ici présent, bonjour. I provided my statement to the investigator that. At, that, at the time that I returned from uh, Kampongspu and when Taka province fell, I was assigned to provide uh, logistics and food to the uh, people, including the leftover uh, pork and other meats uh, from the uh, front battlefield. And the people from Takai were placed in various uh, locations, including uh, pagodas. I did not attend any uh, meetings regarding the arrangement for those people. However, I saw them there on the ground. Pour, prévu pour ces personnes. Je les ai tout simplement vues sur place. And I did not receive any specific instructions from the upper echelon Et regarding those people. Let me just follow up on that, on that last uh, uh, statement of yours, just to be clear. Uh, at any time, did Tamok or any leader from Tramcock District provide any orders regarding the treatment of uh, Lan no soldiers, and specifically, uh, were there orders at, relating to uh, which ranks were to be sent to detention sites and whether there were others who were to be sent to cooperatives? Did you ever receive any instructions along those lines? No, I did not, because at that time I was at a, a, a further place and I did not have any authority to receive such information. Uh, do you know whether Wat Champa in Tapem commune was one of the pagodas where evacuees were gathered? Yes, I knew about that, and Réponse. actually, I myself oui. uh, entered the air pagoda when Après I brought along the logistics uh, from the cave. I saw de uh, people or the evacuees there who were busy doing their own uh, personal uh, things in the air pagoda, cooking rice, and some other were cutting hair, so other people. Uh, that's what I observed. And I was there for a while, and then I returned uh, to uh, my location. Um. Can you give us an estimate of approximately how many evacuees there were at Wat Champa when you were there? There were not many. To my estimation, there were about 50 to 60 people, including male and female.
turning to a, a different time period now. You've testified that uh, at some point in 1976, you returned to your home commune, Pus commune, in Tramcock district, and that you were there for about one year working at the Pong Tup Cooperative uh, before you were uh, eventually sent to the rubber plantation in Kampong Cham province. Um, can you tell us um, who was the chief of Pus commune during the 1976 to 77 time period? That was the statements that I provided to the investigator. At that time, I was transferred to Samrang Yao to make fertilizer together with my family. I then uh, requested to move to live in the Apprentice Cooperative. Tamok actually made a call to people in Kampung Spu to transport me to Takao and to live in the cooperative, to work in the rice fields, to plow the field together with the people there. And I was there for a year. And the uh, commune chief was Saun and Eun, who were in charge of that commune. And that is all. How long had you known Saun? Uh, was he someone who was on the commune committee back in 1973 when you were the commune chief? I had known him a long time ago because previously he was the village chief in Kus uh, commune and uh, later on he was uh, promoted to be a member of the uh, commune committee when I was uh, transferred to Kampong Spu province. And during the time uh, in 1976 to 1977, when you were back in Kus commune, uh, did you ever talk to Son? Uh, did you attend any meetings that were led by him? No, I did not have any involvement non. with Saun because I, at that time I was an ordinary villager uh, plowing the field and working in the rice fields together with Je other uh, villagers. <coughs> Mr. President, uh, with your leave, I'd like to provide the witness uh, two uh, reports uh, from Kus commune at this time, uh, both of which are in document E3-2. Four four one E three slash two four four one. Uh, with your leave, may I provide these uh, two reports? J'aimerais lui présenter ces deux rapports. Yes, you may. Le président, allez-y. Uh, Mr. Witness, um, the first document in the two that I sent you is E3-2441 at Khmer 0027934. English 00369464, French 00611738. And that document is a report from Sound, which states, quote, from 4 May 1977, those with ranks who have been arrested and sent to the police are as follows. The report then identifies a former Law Null First Lieutenant and a Second Lieutenant, uh, both of whom were from Phnom Penh, 
Les deux and one of whom uh, was a Khmer Krom. Et eux était Khmer Krom. And the second report that I gave you, which is E3-2441 at, at Khmer pages 00-27-09-52 through 53, English 00-36-94-80 through 81, and French 00-61-1755 through 56. Uh, this is a 9 September 1977 report, also from Sound, and it notes a number of people who had already been arrested on the 6th of September and identifies seven other former Lon Nol officers who had been subsequently, who had been, quote, subsequently found, five of whom were first lieutenants, uh, one second lieutenant, and a captain. And Sound requests instructions on where to send those seven. My first question, um, uh, do you recognize uh, the handwriting uh, in these reports? Yes, I do. However, as for the content of this letter, revanche, I am not aware of it. Je ne peux rien vous dire sur le de Do you have any information or knowledge Question. as to why Question. ranking Question. officers of the Lan military were being reported and arrested in Kous commune in 1977? Dans la commune de Kous. I do not have uh, knowledge about that Réponse, as I was uh, stationed far away. Posté loin de cet the last sentence of the uh, September 77 report La uh, states, du and I quote, du 9 the contemptible Sam Ohl went suivante. to study in Le Thailand, end quote. Do you know who Sam Ohl was? Qui est Sam Ohl? No, that name doesn't ring a bell. Je ne sais pas. Uh, Mr. Witness, based on your experience Question. as a commune chief, did Sound, as the Kus commune Saan chief, have authority himself de to decide to arrest former Lan Nol officers, or was that something that would need to be ordered by the district or sector? I cannot respond to that question as I do not have any knowledge about that. And that is the truth, as I did not know about the authority of uh, the uh, commune chief or anything related to the former uh, uh, soldiers. The only thing I knew was that there were about 50 to 60 people uh, in Champa uh, Pagoda, and later on I was transferred uh, to the rubber plantation, and I did not uh, know what uh, was happening back in that uh, commune. Uh, Mr. Witness, during the time that you were chief of Kus commune in 1973, did you have authority to decide to arrest people, or was that something you needed approval from, from the district or sector? While I was there, I did not have the authority to arrest anyone. Je n'avais pas l'autorité d'arrêter qui que ce soit. Only the district level and above had that authority, Seul not at the à commune level. And we also did not have any force uh, for the arrest at our uh, level. Les we only have a handful of the 
commune and village militia with a very limited number of weapons. Avec un nombre limité également d'armes. <coughs> Now, uh, going back uh, to the 1973 to 74 time period, Je reviens à la période um, in interview E3-5522 at answer 44, you made the following statement regarding people who had been taken away from Krang to Chan for execution. And I quote, they would have a list of those people's names already. As for me, does that mean that I did not know what was happening? No. I knew what was going on. They let me know what they were doing, but I had no authority. Continuing a little later, when they took the people away, they had their list, and I examined it. End of quote. Can you tell us uh, where it was that you received and examined these lists? Was it at your commune office or was it at Krang Tachan? At that time, uh, Réponse. it was not in uh, Krantachan because uh, by 74 I was already at the Kampung Spui province. But when I went to uh, receive the logistics, and as I stated uh, previously about those evacuees from Takao, those people uh, registered their names, Tokyo. and in fact, I had a look at those names, and that's why I learned uh, where they, uh, they came from or where they had been, and that was the statements that I made to the investigator. Let me read uh, another statement that you made to the investigators, Mr. Witness. In that same interview, E3-5522, at answer 53, you were asked as follows. Question. Before you left the Krang Tachan office, how were the people that had been arrested and placed in the Krang Tachan office treated? And in your response, you made the following statement. Quote, they took prisoners away from the office during nighttime, and they said that they were being taken to the second office, meaning Office 204. At that time, I just believed they were taking those people to Office 204. But two or three days later, I investigated, and I learned that they had not taken the prisoners to the second office. They had killed them near the foot of the mountains. End of quote. My question is, how did you learn that those prisoners had, in fact, been killed near the foot of the mountains? But what you uh, read out is actually uh, my statement, but I did not know the names of those people, and I made uh, that uh, observation or, or you said uh, investigation myself because I wanted uh, to uh, know those people. At that time I was still in uh, the commune. And can you tell us about the investigation you did and how you learned that these people had been killed at, the at what you called the foot of the mountains? The base of that mountain was a, a forest area, and it was a quiet area, and uh, not many people wandering in that area, and that's why uh, they did it there, to avoid uh, being hurt by the villagers. And I actually uh, observed uh, the activities by those people 
And that's what I observed, and I made J'ai that statement to the OCIJ investigator. C'est pourquoi j'ai fait cette so that uh, you all are aware enquêteurs. of what I uh, stated before the investigator. Ainsi, vous pouvez mieux comprendre this location that you describe as being at the base of the mountain, uh, how far was this from Krang to Chen? À quelle distance cet emplacement se trouvait-il de Krang to Chen? It was very far uh, in terms of the base of the Mrai Romil mountain. Par rapport à la base de la montagne. And uh, that area was covered with thick uh, forest. Couverte d'une dense forêt. I refer to the, the, the forest at that time, but now returned into uh, rice fields uh, by the villagers nearby. Cultivé par les villageois. And in, in the uh, a statement I just read, you referred to uh, a second office called Office 204. Could you tell us what Office 204 was? Office 204 was the sector's office. And where was it located? Question. Où se trouvait-il? That office Réponse. was uh, located in between Damray Romil to the west Ce and that uh, uh, mountain to the other side. Et so it was actually located within the valley Donc of these two uh, mountains. Les deux montagnes. And there was also a, a waterfall down from the mountain, and that water was a source from a Kampung Spu. And what was Office 204 used for? À quoi servait le bureau 204? I did not know what it was uh, used for. Je ne le savais pas. When I was assigned to arrange the accommodation for the, the people, de de des gens, and because there were not uh, enough houses, then I had them clear the, the land so that we could build houses for them, and that I learned about uh, that office. So we actually cleared the fields to build houses, and there were actually cassava plantations nearby, and I encouraged the people there to use it as food. Turning to a, a different subject now, um, did you know a person named Dam, um, full name Nyang? Dam, who worked as a District 105 police or soldier in 1973. Answer. I know this person before. His name was Dam. But I created But we separated Mais from each other. Nos sont I went to live in Kampung Spu, some brown and rubber plantation. À Kampung Spu et à la plantation des Vers. And after that, in 1979, Ensuite, I went to live uh, on uh, Dong Rai Mountain, je and I did not know where this person was uh, et je living. What did Dam uh, do during the time um, that you were in Kus Commune before you went to Kampong Spu? Avant d'aller à Kampong Spu, que faisait ce Dam? Kampong. Answer. Réponse. Dam and Anne lived together. Dam et Anne they ensemble. lived in the same village. They worked the village, together. Ils travaillaient ensemble. Wherever. And was Dam would be there. That's what I knew. Ils étaient toujours ensemble. 
Do you know what happened to Dam in the 1973 to 1975 time period? Answer, I did not know. I want to... Question. Uh, read to you uh, uh, testimony that we've heard in this trial from Sai Sen on the 5th of February 2015. This is E1 257.1 at 11.33.02. Quote, Dam was a soldier at first. Question, was he a prisoner at any point in time? Answer, yes, he was there. He had a problem. He had a moral offense with a lady, so he was removed to 204 with Tachen. And at Tachen area, he had a problem again, so he was sent back to Krang Tachen. And Mr. Witness, um, the case file also contains a report, which is document D157.64, dated July, 21 July 1977, sent by the chief of Cheng Tong Commune, Bun, to the district. Uh, it reports how Dam, Nyang Dam, uh, had been criticizing the party and had made the following statement, quote, When I was a policeman, I saw the party much more unjust because it personally implemented many killings under their power. He gave an example of Ah Yang in Trapiang village, who had been loyal to the Ankar, but taken to be killed. Does this refresh your recollection about uh, Dam uh, and what happened to him? And also, did you know uh, this person named Yang Yang, who Dam said was unjustly killed? Il a été injustement tué. Ban. Answer. Réponse. I knew very little for this question because Je ne pas vous dire grand chose. Uh, the fact that Dam had a moral offense uh, that was true and uh, when it was said that Dam went to do it. To, to on disait que Dame avait été envoyé à Kudoui ou à 204, mais ça, c'est faux. Kudoui était sous le Kampong Spu, 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 sous le Kampong Je suis parti avec un I de uh, was asked uh, to go with on my colleagues to uh, take uh, to bring the prisoners in a ox cart, and I could also deux, got a bag of rice. That aussi un sac de is true what I said. Voilà la I did not. I am not now bragging what I am saying. Uh, I mention only the truth, uh, nothing but the truth, because I am je ne me uh, pas, je practicing ne la religion. Parce que je pratique la religion. So what I know, I uh, um, would tell the courts. Among Anne group, there was a person named Dans Jane, group, il y avait un Cheng. but uh, there was no a person Mais by the name Yang. So once again, I je le répète, knew some points, and I knew very little je sais in relation to the question put by uh, the par party. À votre question. And uh, I am afraid to mention anything uh, beyond the truth. Et peur uh, de thank dire you, Mr. Witness. Now, you've already told question. us how 
um, after leaving Kous commune, um, you took Kous, groups of people to build houses in the Prey Kaduk area as part of your work Kaduk. on the evacuation committee. Um, I want to read to you um, an excerpt from a report by Henri Locard on the Southwest Zone. This is E3 slash 32. 32 at English 00 Khmer 00 through 81, French 00 through 57, uh, which contains an interview of an Ang Tassam resident uh, who was evacuated to Prey Kuduk and the Camp 204. Quote, and this is what that person said, quote, this was in operation from 1973 during the Civil War and after the evacuation of Ang Tassam by the Khmer Rouge. It was situated in Trancock district near the village of Prey Kuduk. She was arrested at the end of February 1973, not far from Ang Tassam, after the area had been overrun by the Khmer Rouge and the town forced evacuated. Up to 3,000 Lon Nol soldiers were captured, their hands tied behind their backs in groups of 50 to 100. Most were massacred. The re-education camp looks like old army barracks, which were already full of skinny workers. The newcomers must build temporary shelters in the forest, each for 30 to 40 people. To the west of her shed in the barracks, there were men who had been arrested for speaking ill of Ankar. They would labor, supervised by Pol Pot cadres. She saw, she saw children die around her." End of quote. Um, Mr. Witness, when you testified that you were part of an evacuation committee that took people to pray Kaduk and built shelters for them, was this the camp, or was this near the camp that was known as Office 204? Answer. Réponse. I would like to tell the chamber that I was not fully aware of all the situation, and the chamber can assess the, la uh, the facts. La chambre pour apprécier les faits. Before I went to break, do it to arrange the shelter for people, Office of 204 was already uh, dismantled. Avait déjà été dissous. And after that, uh, uh, people from ensuite, uh, district from commune were transferred to that place. I was part of the committee Je du before I went to break it. Avant à I received uh, some uh, refugees from Tramcock district, district de Tramcock, district, de Kirivong, district 108, district 109. 109. And uh, I send these people to respective to their respective communes and villages. And I was the one who tried to find food for uh, those people. De à manger pour ces gens. And as for children, they were thin, and uh, I uh, tried to look for food for Les those children so that uh, they could survive. De leur à manger pour but some survivre. died. Mais this is uh, the fact, that this is the truth. Voilà les faits, voilà la Please believe in me. When I, was, when I arrived there, there je dis, was no je suis office sur place, 204. Il avait pas de bureau 204. It did not exist. Cela it pas. was in the open field. The place was in the open field, and I went there to build the villages, communes for people. Pour, and there was a dam at that place. 
des maisons pour les gens Now, de la the commune du village. Dam, vous avez aussi uh, is referred to as a Tachin Dam. Qui est appelé le barrage de Tachin. Uh, I had a Katen ceremony this year and uh, we celebrated uh, Katen at uh, that pagoda. That that is uh, dans cette pre pagoda. pagoda. Celle de Prey Kdoik. And uh, though who survives uh, the periods. Uh, And they remain at that place. They know me very well, and they les gens du coin me admired bien. and congratulate uh, what I did at that time. Il, uh, me I pour did ce not que know about uh, people, other people understanding about the fact, but this is what I knew and what I did. Je ne sais pas I have just a couple more questions choses, for you, voilà Mr. Witness. Um, another place Question. that you have stated that you went uh, after you left. Vous êtes uh, aussi commune. dit, um, vous avez aussi dit, from E3 5522, vous avez dit, 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 Uh, the former Tramcock District Secretary, Chim. Uh, this is in E3 4626 at Khmer 00373439, English 00380136337, and French 00426207. Uh, he provided the following testimony Voici about what you did uh, after Frank de Chen. Quote, Chen was transferred to another Chen position Chen as the chief of the Bung Srane Security Center, Centre, which was located Strané, in Srane commune, commune west of Trapien and Duc. That area previously belonged to Chuk district, but later was in integrated into Tramcock district. That center was in the border area of Kampong Spu. He was transferred there in about mid-1975. Uh, end of quote. Uh, Mr. Witness, what can you tell us about the Bung Srane Security Center that Chim says you were the chief of? Answer, I did not know. The place that I went there was not Bung Srong and I did not know about the security center in Bung Srong I did not know, I was not aware of it. There was a village and commune named Bung Srong I, but uh, as for Duet, when I was there, mais villages and communes uh, were set up uh, was set up été créé, y compris and uh, three villages were combined uh, together to make a commune. Pour créer une commune and that commune was in Kampong Spu province, Dans la province de Kampong Spu. and I cannot say about uh, what I have just uh, mentioned. I do not know whether it is true or not, so I mentioned si what non, I knew je ne peux que dire only. Ce que je sais. I want to conclude Question. by uh, going back terminer, to the detailed statement you made in interview E3 5524 that answers 32 through 35. Uh, The detailed statement I read to you yesterday about the interrogation methods that were used by P and An at Prang Tachan, including the use of what you called hot and cold methods of interrogation. And my final question for you is whether you have any explanation to the court uh, other than your involvement and knowledge of Krang Tachan as to, as to uh, how you knew about cold and hot methods of interrogation that were used at Khmer Rouge prisons. Des méthodes chaudes et froides utilisées dans les prisons Khmer Rouge. Bah. 
Answer. Réponse. The investigator asked me about this. Uh, I could understand sujet. some matters in relation to this point. And I was told by someone that uh, two methods were used on uh, hot and cold. Deux méthodes, la méthode chaude cold la méthode method is to la méthode try to, to encourage uh, the prisoner to confess and ask for hot methods. They would try to use any other resorts, other means to force uh, the prisoners to confess. Pour, uh, uh, they may used torture obtenir des aveux et cela incluait la torture encourage a prisoner to confess so i only told what i knew j'ai seulement dit ce que je savais uh, thank you uh, mr president i have further questions merci j'en ai terminé bah alors president thank you very much uh, the international le deputy co prosecutor merci now i hand over the floor je cède à présent la parole Litko lawyer, you have principaux pour les parties uh, civiles. Now, you have the time now until 10 uh, past 10. Vous pourrez interroger le témoin jusqu'à 10h10. Civil party lawyer. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Merci, everyone. Monsieur le Good morning, Mr. Bonjour Witness. I am Mouch Sovanari, the civil party lawyer, and I am des parties civiles. I'm asking you on behalf of uh, uh, Litco Lawyer, National Litco Lawyer. Du coup, avocat principal pour les parties civiles. Yesterday, you told the co-prosecutor that Hier, you were once a commune vous avez dit chief. Avoir autrefois été chef de commune. I would like to ask you follow. While you were a commune chief, were you involved in the work of qualité? District 105? Est-ce que vous participiez aux activités du District 105? An answer. Réponse. I did not have any role in the district Je n'exerçais aucune Trump fonction Cop. dans le district de Tramcock. Lawyer, thank question. you, Mr. Witness. My next question concerning Deputy Committee. I would like to ask you that uh, when you were part of the Evacuation Committee, Quand vous siégez were au you aware de of uh, the task uh, duty of uh, the committee and how did uh, they du organize and coordinate uh, people who were evacuated uh, from uh, Phnom Penh uh, on 17 April 1975? Les de Phnom Penh. Answer. Allow me Réponse. to tell the president and uh, everyone in the courtroom that I was assigned to be part of the evacuation committee, the members included uh, Mang as well. Qui the refugees aussi des here did not refer Quand on parle to ici de uh, people from uh, Phnom Penh. Il ne pas des Phnom Penh and uh, the refugees at that place uh, were from the villages or the places nearby. De gens venant so de I uh, was engaged to find food, to arrange uh, settlers, uh, shelters uh, for uh, these people. Monter des abris so it was not uh, the refugee of war. Ce donc pas des réfugiés de guerre. Question. Lawyer, yesterday you told the uh, co-prosecutor that uh, when you were working in the evacuation committee, vous avez dit au titre de vos fonctions ce comité, arrested some uh, people from uh, communes. I would like des to ask you that uh, when you ask uh, those people who were arrested uh, by militiamen, uh, did you ask them why uh, they had been arrested and, and how did you arrange uh, and accommodate these people? Pourquoi ils avaient été arrêtés? Answer. And that is my statement. I asked uh, those people about contradictions and about réponse. the reason why they had been arrested and brought to 
pourquoi the place ils avaient été arrêtés et conduits à cet endroit. I was walking at that time, and I asked them, and they said uh, they got problem in the matter of the stealing coconuts. Avoir eu des problèmes parce qu'ils avaient volé des noix de coco. So it uh, it was a minor problem. C'était donc des infractions mineures. Guards. And uh, because they committed uh, such a minor uh, offenses, uh, they were arrested and Et sent to my place. And Et after asking them, these people did not commit any serious offenses. Je les ai interrogés. And Il est apparu que ces gens the pas upper de graves echelon perhaps did not know uh, the les reason that these people uh, were arrested. So I decided uh, with uh, the member, some of the members Avec of the committee to have uh, some of these people because they did not commit any serious offenses and uh, some of them were released. And as I told the court already libérés. about the matter Et yesterday. Lawyer, thank you, Question. Mr. Witness. From my understanding, you are now mentioning that uh, militia men from the commune arrested these people. And the uh, militia men had authority to arrest uh, these Ils people who uh, commit uh, some offenses. Is Lorsque that true? ces gens avaient commis des infractions, est-ce exact? Answer, yes, that is true. Réponse, oui. Lawyer, my question. next question concerns the same point. Toujours when sur you were point. part of the evacuation committee and uh, when uh, people alleged allegedly à ce committing uh, des gens offenses and when they were found that they had a network or link with the enemies, des fautes, et were these people uh, transferred and further sent to other security centers? Envoyés vers d'autres centres de sécurité? Answer. Réponse. When I was in the commune or when I stopped working as a commune chief and was part of the evacuation quand committee, I never à la commune et quand quand j'ai intégré le comité de l'évacuation, uh, jamais to any other places. envoyé ces gens ailleurs. Lawyer, thank you very much, Mr. Witness. Question. In relation to the fact that the district uh, decided to use Grand Chan as a re-education office, did you know why uh, Grand Chan Savez-vous pourquoi le district a décidé uh, d'utiliser Grand Chan comme centre de réeducation? Did you know the reason why? Answer. I did not know. I Réponse. first uh, got the instruction, and I was asked to build shelters uh, for a meeting to avoid aerial bombings. So pour y tenir villages réunion, and communes, uh, they abuse uh, halls uh, for meeting to avoid any danger or Les aerial bombings. Ont donc, uh, des salles de réunion and à in my at my house. Uh, there were three plans uh, landed and arrested me when I was in my commune. So uh, we got instructions that uh, we had to build shelters for our meeting and to avoid any aerial bombing or to avoid uh, the plan seeing us uh, on the ground. Soit and I believe I told the court already about Je this point. Déjà dit. Lawyer, thank you, Mr. Witness. My next question is that question. yesterday you mentioned to the co-prosecutor that uh, you Hier, vous avez dit à uh, entered and exit Grand Tachan office to supply the food. So I would like to know from you when you were Tachan, in Krangtachan to supply food, uh, were you together with your group? Ce faisant, how many of -vous you among votre group? How many of uh, you uh, go there? Combien -vous? And what did you do there? Et qui -vous? Answer: In mid 1973, 
the district decided to use the Krang Tachan to be a prison, and I was uh, engaged to supply food. Et j'ai été recruté I went there Italy. and I could see J'y allais donc. Uh, people also supplied the food for the security center Je and we had our respective duty and tasks. Chacun avait ses so fonctions the district would assign the duty le district répartissait and uh, we travail. from the commune or from the villages Nous, did not have any authority to uh, assign any duty to other Uh, people, so I know only. I tell the court what I know only. Je ne peux donc parler que de ce que je sais. Lawyer, thank you very much, Mr. Winner. Yesterday, you told the court as well Hier, that you were assigned uh, to work in Prekdoit, and you returned to your place once in a while, and you met some of the cadres working in Krangtachan. When Kachan. you met, when you said uh, you met some of the cadres from uh, Krang Tachan, so who were they and uh, uh, where did you meet them and Et what did you uh, talk to them? De quoi parliez-vous avec eux? Answer. Réponse. When I returned home, uh, during the time I uh, went to the meeting, I would uh, visit uh, quand my je suis house rentré chez moi et and quand I would réunion, be stopped on the way maison, home and I had chit-chat. But I, I did not know about the prisoner and I did not ask about uh, how chemin, many prisoners were detained at the security gens, office and I did not pay attention to this matter. Question. Question. You stated that you uh, met them and talked to them. Vous dites uh, can you tell the court who were they and uh, what were their names? Qui étaient Answer. I already Réponse. stated uh, their names. Déjà that cité is the nom. district committee, including Le P and Anne. P et Anne. And sometimes I Parfois, met this person or that person of the uh, district committee. Tel ou tel membre du comité de district. Some of the lawyers say, "Kapi masam men lok man benjek ha." Yesterday, you also stated that it was you who went to request for the release of Osoy Sen, who was a former prisoner, so that he could, uh, you, could, you, you could use him to tend the cattle and to work in the prison. Can you tell the court who did you seek a request for the release of Osoy Sen so that Osoy Sen can work in the prison and tend the cattle? s'occupe du bétail et travaille dans la prison. Answer. Réponse. At uh, one time after I returned from a district uh, meeting, je suis revenu de la réunion, that is after I returned from break Lewis, then I returned to my donc, home. Chez moi. And in fact, I did not enter the compound. I was uh, at, the outer, at the outer at the outer part of the compound and I saw a sign and I uh, requested I made a request to the district committee, and it was not actually for a full release uh, of Soi Sain, but it was uh, just to spare him. Question. Can you tell the court about your relationship and the uh, committee overseeing uh, Krang Tachan prison. Were you related to any of them or what was it? Answer, I was not related to any of them. They were from different uh, villages, but I uh, knew them. So uh, sometimes we uh, met and uh, talked. Mais je les connaissais, donc parfois nous nous rencontrions et nous discutions. Question: Yesterday, in response to the co-prosecutor, you stated that Hier, there were two meetings held at 
the district level uh, on a monthly basis and discuss the issues of uh, policies, economies, and uh, the uh, military issue. On the issue of the military, did the, uh, each commune raise the issue in order to learn from one another? Answer. That were the uh, topics of the meeting's agenda, namely politics, uh, military, economic, culture, etc. And then we would uh, be told about the achievement in the uh, through weeks period that we uh, that we made because the meetings were held uh, twice a monthly. Question. Can you tell the court during the meetings when they raise the issue of a security at each commune? Can do you tell the court what kinds of uh, security issues uh, that were raised? Just give us an, an example. Answer. Réponse. The meetings were convened by the district and the uh, communes uh, attended and they did not speak about what happened at the detention center because when it comes to the security center they had a uh, separate uh, meetings so I did not know the details about uh, uh, that uh, business question Yesterday, you answered the co prosecutor's question about the MOC and that the MOC was the uh, zone secretary of the uh, Southwest and that he also oversaw the North Zone. And you knew it because uh, you uh, were there and you saw it. Can you tell the court what were you doing and what did you see that led you to believe that the MOC? was also governing the north zone. Answer. Indeed, that was what I stated to the court yesterday. Tamok was an easy-going person. He was down to earth and he was friendly to everyone regardless of the status or the age. As for uh, Kai Pok, I only uh, knew him when I was at the uh, rubber plantation in the North Zone and Kai Pok was the uh, zone secretary who chairs the meetings uh, for us workers at the estate rubber plantation and that how I knew him as the zone secretary. Question. You responded uh, to a series of questions by the co-prosecutor on uh, Prague Duy. Can you tell us what kind of people uh, were sent to uh, Prague Duy, where you work and where you had to arrange the accommodation for them? Were most of them 17 April people who were evacuated from the cities? Answer. If you uh, really don't understand uh, the details, then of course uh, it is a question that we uh, need to uh, clarify. Before the office 204 closed down, there were some people remained. Those uh, people were without their family members. Some of them had been uh, given to me by the district, that is who were sent uh, from Krang Chan and other people were gathered from five districts. That is, those people 
who had uh, tendencies with the previous lunar government and they were former lunar soldiers, uh, civil servants, teachers, professors, or uh, commune chief or village chiefs. And they were all there, and I had to arrange the accommodation for them. And while I was there, uh, making the accommodation for each family, I provided them with uh, sufficient food. Je veillais à ce qu'ils aient suffisamment and pour se nourrir. They were all happy. Ils étaient tous contents. However, after I was transferred to uh, Samraun at the Tolibati, j'ai été transféré à Samraun. Those people at Prekduit didn't stay there. They Et ran back to live at the village. Ils ne sont pas restés là-bas. Civil Ils party lawyer interrupted. Thank you, Mr. Witness. L'avocat de la partie civile interrompt. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le témoin. Please turn on your microphone. Veuillez allumer votre micro, s'il vous plaît. This is my last question. Can we say that the cadres at the village and the commune has to report through a chain of command to the district up to the zone secretary? Therefore, the zone secretary, the MOC, would grasp all the issues that happened within the zone. Am I correct in making that conclusion? And uh, I, I can make some comments on, uh, on this issue because I deal with the administrative issue as well. The report was in through the chains of command. For example, the unit to the village, the village to the commune, the commune to the district, the district to the sector, and the sector to the zone. As for me, when I made a direct contact with Tamok, it was not through the regular chain of command because that was my own personal business and I sought his intervention in it. Thank you. And thank you, Mr. President and Mr. Vinus. I do not have any further questions. For the few minutes left, I'd like to uh, see the floor to my international counterpart. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. Bonjour, President. Monsieur le Témoin. Je m'appelle Marie Guiraud. Je suis avocate du, du collectif des partis civils. J'ai juste une question de suivi à vous poser suite à ce que vous avez répondu à ma, à ma consoeur Sauvana Rimok à l'instant. Uh, Quand elle vous a posé la question right des, des réunions mensuelles qui avaient lieu au niveau du district, district et qu'elle vous a demandé si des questions de sécurité étaient discutées lors de ces réunions, if, uh, vous, vous avez indiqué, en tout cas, ce qui nous est revenu dans la traduction you en français, qu'il y avait des réunions distinctes pour les centres de sécurité. Je voulais savoir si j'avais bien compris so sure et si vous pouviez nous en dire properly. un petit peu plus And concernant could, de ces uh, réunions distinctes qui étaient organisées au niveau du district pour parler des questions de sécurité. Uh, On the security issue, as I stated, at the village or commune meetings, we were not allowed to know about the, the security issue. Only at the district level or at the education office level of the district, they held those kinds of meetings discussing the security issues or the, the measures that uh, needed to be taken. As for us, the, the measure for us is to, to provide security to the uh, residents in our village and the commune, respectively. Merci, Monsieur le témoin. 
Si je comprends bien votre témoignage, vous nous dites que vous avez assisté à des réunions au niveau du district à l'occasion desquelles étaient discutées les questions de sécurité. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris Et si oui, pouvez-vous nous expliquer un petit peu plus en détail les questions pratiques qui étaient discutées lors de ces réunions au niveau du district That is correct. Réponse, the district would uh, give us instructions. And as for the meetings, uh, there were two kinds of meetings. There were open meetings and closed meetings. And certain issues, for example, security issues, were only discussed during the closed meetings at the district level. Quand vous parlez de huis clos, qu'entendez-vous so exactement par là Qui étaient les personnes exactly? qui participaient Who à ces réunions dites à huis clos these so uh, closed meetings. It was according to their, uh, the uh, committee, because there were uh, core people, progressive people, uh, preparatory or candidate people. And not all those uh, groups of people were allowed to attend the meetings. Only selective uh, people were informed uh, about uh, their plans, about the implementation of, of their plans. Je vous remercie. Vous avez indiqué dans votre réponse précédente que le district vous donnait des instructions. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous donner un exemple des types d'instructions que le district vous donnait en matière de sécurité pertaining to security. What I meant was that the person who handed the 40 people to me from Kantachan, and as I was part of the uh, evacuation uh, uh, committee, Uh, I was given uh, the responsibility to take care of those 40 people, that is to make necessary accommodation arrangements for them. Dernière question, avez-vous personnellement... Enfin, il, il ressortirait de votre témoignage que oui, mais je voudrais savoir si j'ai bien compris. Vous avez personnellement like assisté à des réunions à huis clos au niveau du district pour discuter des questions de sécurité. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris votre témoignage Did I understand uh, your testimony properly No, I never attended any uh, closed meetings. I was not involved in the district committee's meetings as we all, also, also hate our own uh, committee meetings. Je vais m'arrêter là, Monsieur le Président. Je vous remercie. I'm stop here, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Thank you. It is now convenient for a short break. We will take a break at now and return at half past ten. And uh, court officer, please uh, assist the uh, witness during the break and invite him, including his duty uh, counsel, to the uh, court room again at uh, half past ten. The court is now in recess.